So before we dive into the actual subject matter of today's video, I do want to go ahead and say last week I got a really big super chat from our boy Tinley J, Josh, who wants us to check out Open Mandriva and with all the stuff with my production machine, I didn't get around to it yet, but after this video is up and you're watching it, later on today, we're gonna to be doing a live stream about Open Mandriva. And so you'll see some of those videos coming out on the channel about Open Mandriva and us playing with it here in the very near future. So if you're excited and wanna see Open Mandriva, if that's a Linux distri distribution that you're interested in, then please stop by. Look forward to seeing you. Let's talk about Tofi. Tofi is my application launcher. So if I don't load it up on the other monitor, load it up over here, you can see I just press a key binding, Tofi loads up, and I've got this menu up here at the top that I can move around and select applications with and launch them. I can also just start searching, you know, I and I could, you know, load up zero AD if I wanted to. Let me go ahead, close that. So Tofi is a program launcher, much like any other program launcher that you're gonna use on mainly tiling window managers. It's similar to Rofi, D-Menu and such. It doesn't do anything too special. It just takes SD, STD out and STD in. You know, it, it takes text in, outputs it. So let's go ahead and show you my config for Tofi, which is obviously gonna be in your dot config Tofi when it comes to Linux, like all of your application, you know, settings or config files, I guess I should say, will be. And you can see the config is not complicated at all. I pretty much only have required match, false. That means if I select something or search something and there is no match for it, when I when I want something to happen, it do, you, you don't require a match for a program or whatever in the list. Like it's just go for it. And then mainly just theming options. That's pretty much it. And which font we want to use. It's a very simple config file. You could configure Tofi in minutes. It, it's really not hard at all. And especially if you want something in a D menu fashion, it's very simple to get set up. Now I will go ahead and show that if you were to just install Tofi and try to use it, let's say we do Tofi dash D run right now and run it inside of the terminal. If I hit GTK settings, which is also the name for NWG look, uh, the program, it's just gonna give me NWG look as output, that's it. And that's actually intended functionality for Tofi. So when you actually want to use Tofi, if I vim into my .config slash hyper folder and grab my hyperland config, you'll actually see in here when I go down to my key bindings section that when it comes to my key binding for Tofi dash D run, I pipe the output into the hyper CTL exec line for launching it. So, Tofi is really just for outputting something and using it somewhere else. So on pretty much any system, you're going to use your window manager or, you know, X or whatever. You're going to use some other method of actually opening up the application that you select through Tofi or whatever you select through Tofi. Because this is another good thing to talk about when it comes to Tofi. It has many other uses than just loading up applications. I use Tofi as my emoji selector on Linux because I hate all the other emoji selectors. So if I do mod E on my computer, you'll see a list of emojis comes up and I can search through them like, let's grab the vampire. And I can hit enter and it'll select it and I get a notification that says it's copied to clipboard. And then if I, Let's zoom in a little bit. Control Shift V, you see we've got our emoji being copied. Very simple script. Uh, actually, if you wanna pick up my 
my script. It is over on my dot files. It's called emo picker 9,000. It's in my dot local bin folder. That's where all my scripts are. If you want to go there, it's a, you will to use it. You will need a file. I got mine from Luke Smith and you can also find the emoji file. I believe it's in share script depths emoji. Yep. There you go. So I actually pulled it from Luke Smith. And if you're using XOR, you're not using something Wayland. Here's the original script for, you know, D menu and, and XOR. Mine has obviously been modified for window or windows Wayland. <laughs> Definitely not windows Wayland. And cause it's using why do tool WL copy. And, you know, I also have changed it up a little bit. So it's actually using Tofi and there's not as much said magic going on and stuff. So that's pretty much it when it comes to my emoji selector and the, what, what I do for it. I highly recommend you do something like this as an emoji selector. Cause for one, it's much cooler than any other emoji selector and it's easy. It's, it's very easy to set something like this up and most of the scripts are already done for you. So you don't even have to really write your own. You just, grab someone else's and do it that way. And so this kind of stuff is what I really enjoy about having these D menu Rofi esque launchers. Tofi, I really do like just because it is very fast and obviously supports Wayland. So I love that. I, I will go ahead and say though, if you do want to try out Tofi and you go to check it out, Let's be honest with each other. The default theme for Tofi is disgusting. It does not look good at all. So with, keep that in mind when you check out Tofi. The way it looks out of the box looks bad. Everyone pretty much agrees on it, that it does not look good. And don't worry about it. Theming it takes no time at all. And there's many different examples for you to go look at in their documentation and just around the internet on different people's themes for Tofi. You could always use mine as a starting point or tons of other people. So I would like to know what, what do you think of these kinds of app application launchers, emoji selector scripts and stuff that you can do with them? Is that something that interests you or no? Are you already using a desktop environment? And if so, would something like this inside of that desktop environment interest you or no? Cause you already have everything you need. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see all of you guys in the live stream later on today. And again, thank you all for watching. There's a lot of stuff happening on this channel and I, I, I'm so excited for it. And I cannot tell you guys how thankful I am for all of the overwhelming support. So thank you for everybody doing the, you know, YouTuber things, liking, subscribing, all of that goodness. And also thank you for everyone going way over and above and supporting me over on Patreon, YouTube, super chats, ch channel memberships, all that kind of stuff. Thank you boys. It really, really does mean a lot. And yeah, so on the screen are going to be the names of all the people who support me over on Patreon. Thank you guys. Th thank everybody for the support of the channel. I, I genuinely can't say it enough. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.